you seen collagen protein advertise. What are the claims that they're making? I mean, it just keeps your skin looking younger, keeps yeah. you feeling younger, and grows out your hair, maybe. Also talks about tendons and ligaments. <laughs> grows right? out your hair, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Everybody knows I'm bald. I'm not there's, trying to hide it. Yeah. There's some bias here. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, hair is for girls. All of those claims that the makers of collagen protein are promoting are untrue. And here's why. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I am a doctor of biomedical engineering, which gives me a unique perspective beyond a lot of sports scientists that uh, make presentations on YouTube about how things work with the human body from nutrition, exercise science, and just general responses to environmental stimuli. What we're gonna talk about today, and I'm joined here by my wife, the lovely Caroline Jaquish, FHM cover girl this month. I'm so proud of you. The, the question you asked me, this is maybe a month ago, and I, I wouldn't answer you because I wanted to get it on film. You asked me, is collagen protein as good as like whatever was being, how it was being marketed. You've seen collagen protein advertise. What are the claims that they're making? I mean, it just keeps your skin looking younger, keeps yeah. you feeling younger and grows out your hair maybe. Also talks about tendons and ligaments. <laughs> grows right? out your hair maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Uh, it, it, Everybody knows I'm bald. I'm not there's, trying to hide it. Yeah. There's some bias here. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, hair is for girls. So all of those claims that the makers of collagen protein are promoting are untrue. Mm -hmm. And here's why. The idea that they're claiming is that if you eat collagen, that your collagen will be better. The two have nothing to do with each other. When you eat protein, the body breaks it down into essential amino acids, and then anything that's not essential amino acids, it might be included in whatever that food is, if it's collagen protein, maybe, or something else. So the body makes the non-essential amino acids, and then whatever essential amino acids that happen to be there get assembled into human proteins which can potentially be appropriated for healthy skin. Mm -hmm. So the way to have healthy skin is have a higher level of essential amino acids, which is really what your body needs to assemble human proteins. And again, the idea that you're gonna eat a thing and that specific thing is gonna translate into that thing in your body, that's not a thing. Like, e e collagen doesn't become collagen, it just becomes any old protein and what's best is to have something like Fortigen. You never skip this, do you? No, I've been using it since the very beginning, since we first met. And this is one of my favorite products that Jake Wish Biomedical sells. It started as a cancer treatment. That's right. Or something that cancer chemotherapy patients would use to keep muscle mass on them for longer. Right. So it's designed to prevent muscle wasting. Mm -hmm. and, and so essential amino acids are what you're gonna focus on this was, it really came from the creators of the Master Amino Acid Profile, which is the guys who really figured out like what we need in what proportion mm -hmm. as far as essential amino acids go. And by getting that into the body and prioritizing that, you become a protein assembling machine. And that improves your skin, that improves tendons and ligaments, but it also does it in context to what your body needs. So for example, will you have better skin by having a higher level of essential amino acids? Yes. Are you going to reverse aging and like stop wrinkles? Maybe a little bit, but ultimately there is no way to like force the body to de-age you. That's kind of marketing nonsense as well. I, I, I know that having high level of protein and especially essential amino acids will help, but there's, there's no sort of miracle like I'm gonna go backwards 20 years in age, except maybe losing weight. 
Uh, I think that's yeah. just like the scam of the beauty industry too, is having this almost grotesque focus on vanity and not longevity of life. And this is one of those products that if you do place value on living a long, happy life, I yeah. would not skip the essential amino acids. And, and at all. we we got to be real. Like aging gracefully is what everybody wants. Anti aging or reverse reversal of aging. In fact, if you go to like an anti aging conference, and you and I have laughed about this, mm-hmm. it's breast implants and Botox. That's really the anti aging business. Which is nothing against that, but you need to keep in mind you're not going to take a a pill or a powder and it's going to like wind back the clock. That's true. Yeah. I, just, just be fit and lean and you will age as gracefully as you could possibly imagine. And I think a lot of people are realizing what you just said and we're moving towards kind of embracing the aging process and aging gracefully, like you said, yeah. and not focusing so much on vanity and plastic surgery. And I know for me personally, I've had Botox in the past and I deeply regret it. I actually mm-hmm. got a form of botulism from cosmetic Botox injections. It's basically like <laughs> Botox poisoning. Some people yes. don't react, but Botox is short for biotoxin, which is a neurotoxin, which stops muscles from firing in the general area. Mm-hmm. And it does get throughout your system. Botox was originally developed for cerebral palsy patients. So it was injected near the spine so that you could calm the nerves that are getting too many signals. This is what happens with a palsic patient. And so they can move normally for a given amount of time after the injections. The injections last, you know, maybe a month with CP patient. And uh, I even know the guy who invented it, Hans Forsberg, a nice guy. Yeah, anyway, so you you really got to like, aging is not a bad thing. You just want to do it better than everybody else. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm going to put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're going to help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.